upcoming East Sacramento Garden Tour. Yes, garden number two out of seven gardens that are going to be in this whole tour. So you take a look here. I mean, every little nook and cranny in this place is adorable. Come on in, Terry. Take a look around at the, uh, the beautiful greenery. Specifically, I would like to point your attention to this beautiful Japanese maple. Can I just tell you that's my I favorite tree? This. And can I also tell you I have killed two Japanese maples oh, no. in my gardening <laughs> career. I have decided I no longer should own a Japanese maple. It's terrible, Richard. I cannot keep them alive. I, I've just killed the one, so uh, you, you have the greater expertise. <laughs> nah. This is so, so funny. So, I mean, beautiful backyards that are going to be featured in this tour. And then all of this is going to support <clears throat> David Lubin School, right? Absolutely. It supports our art program, our brand new music program, STEAM, teaching and learning at our school, full calendar of field trips, right. and our language arts exchange, which is small group instruction. That's every student every day. So if you come out to the garden tour, you're supporting our city's children. Oh, that's fantastic. And we're taking a look at all the, the beautiful uh, things out here. Now, David, how are you with landscaping and gardening? Are, are you okay? I mean, I know the Japanese maple, that was a fatality, but outside of that. You know, I'm, I'm not skilled. Um, <laughs> so this this is valuable to me to get, to get some ideas. Yes. You know, we love our community to come out. You can see Especially now, people are looking at maybe getting out of the grass and the lawn, yeah, and yeah. you can get some ideas for how to use that space and repurpose it. So uh, I'm definitely looking for ideas exactly. myself. Exactly. More sustainable gardens. Okay. And so that's the idea, is that you can come out and kind of get some ideas for what you can do around your home. Um, are you partial to trees or color? Uh, I like some color. Mm -hmm. I like this garden because it's, it's natural materials. Yeah. It's stone. It's brick. It's wood. There's parts of it that can be used for different things. Mm -hmm. You've got the, the kids can play in the area. You've got the great adult space for right. those sort of evening stories right. after the kids have gone to bed or when yeah. it's winding down. So this is a multi-use garden. This is this is what I look for in a garden. Oh, this is fun stuff. And, and I'm even noticing you can have like the family dinner out here. All the adults can sit here at the big table and then the kids can sit over there at the little table in the corner. See, that's how you do that. <laughs> Link all the information to our website, goodjsacramento.com. Again, it's the East Sac Garden Tour benefiting David Lubin School. Come on out, get some ideas, and yeah. also learn how to, you know, kind of navigate your own backyard. It doesn't have to be so homogenized. You can have a little nook and cranny, <laughs> a little something different in every corner. I love this, guys. Fantastic. Thanks so much, Court. All right, nice.